Welcome to the Moral Marriage Podcast, where we are real, raw, uncensored, and anointed. Uh, okay, guys, the work you are missing. This is a great tool, but like all the tools, we have our own twist. Validation versus keeping the peace. Why you need to stop talking about sex if you're not having sex. That it is the man's fault. Marriage sucks. I'm Cass. I'm Catherine. You go in and you lay a boundary without connection. It breeds more disconnection. Why are you in this messy marriage? And it's not what you think. Don't do that because then that is not authentic. That's fake and you're trying to be somebody that you're not. You need the foundation to have the intimacy. But right now, you need to rebuild the foundation. We're moral marriage. Let's flip divorce statistics with the new marriage. I thought this would be a really great episode to finish off sort of the last few string of episodes. Why? The work that you're missing. Okay, everybody that does a program, okay, everybody that reads books or listens to podcasts, you're kind of all in the same category. You're trying to soak up this information. And so you believe that you're doing the work. Now, I'm going to use myself as an example really quickly, okay? And then I want to spin this back to you guys, okay? So um, I'll use two examples. You know we saved our marriage from the depths of hell, okay? Satan was right there. Satan was in the mix, <laughs> holding my hand. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's, here's the thing. We hear, because of what we do, we hear all the time, but I have tried everything, Okay. That's impossible because I haven't had a fucking conversation with you because I am something else. And if you're a man who's saying I've tried everything and you're still trying to convince yourself you are so deep in your nice guy trying to validate yourself and your efforts that you are never going to succeed. Same with women. I've tried everything. It is impossible to have tried everything. It's, it's just not possible. But we we are it, still it, taking courses, reading books, listening to podcasts, interviewing people, them interviewing – like. We're still learning. How can you possibly, if the moment you say you've tried everything, I want you to slap yourself across the face and say, I don't want to, like from the last episode. Yeah, okay. That's right. Now, I'm going to give you that. And that's, and it, can I just say mm -hmm. for a second, yeah. it is valid. If you get to that point that you just can't anymore, your energy is gone, your, what do they call it? A give a shit meter. Uh, yeah, give a shit meter. All of those things, like you just, you can't. And it's not because you don't have the energy, you don't have, it's, you don't have the desire, you don't want to. And there is value in not wanting to, but you need to be honest with yourself. Don't say I've tried everything. Say, I don't want to try anything else. Yeah. Everything else failed and I don't want to try one more thing and feel like a failure again. Be honest with yourself. You don't want to be a failure again. Listen to the podcast from last episode again. Go to the end where I said, just tell yourself the truth. Actually tell your partner the truth. What is it that you don't want? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because- what you're doing is what Catherine just said. You, you just actually don't want to continue failing. So you're giving up. You and you're assuming that you're going to fail, which is a problem. Yeah. Because you failed so many times, which is natural. It's human nature. Because you failed so many times, you're saying, I don't want to fail one more time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. But you're saying, I, I've tried everything I can. And here's the thing with that. Like, I hear this all the time. Like, especially if guys have spent, like, $20,000 on another program. Like, I get what. Well, we don't charge that, by the way. But, like, yeah, I understand when you start – the money's been going out for a couple of years and like, you're just what the, but listen, you didn't ask the right questions. We talk about this all the time. Most of those programs, for example, I'm not going to say they're, they're names, not even married. They're not or, even married or they got divorced. They started over. They didn't save it. Like marriage. you didn't want to ask the right questions. It goes back to it again. I didn't want to. Be or you didn't know, truthful. be, be honest about it. Yeah, that's okay. And I get it. It's frustrating. It's hard, you know, especially if you're thinking money is that one just comes up all the time. But like, um, I want you to think about another example in my life. Most of you by now, if you've gotten to this episode, you know that I'm full on believer in God now. Okay. Raised atheist. Amen. Went to church with Catherine for nine and a half years and then said, I am tired of wondering if God is real. I didn't, I just didn't feel it. So we put on his big boy underwear. Put on my big Jesus boy underwear. Jesus on the front, right on the crotch. <laughs> Not really. And went. And when he went to Africa. Right to Africa for two weeks to find out and see for myself. Because I wasn't getting it here. I did it doesn't not... mean that it's not here, by the way, guys. No, that's true. It's just that over there, there's like a different level of desperation. And you see things that you will not see here. 100%. Right, baby? Yeah, that's a really great way to put it. So it doesn't mean and... that you can't find Jesus here. But he... I know Jesus and I've never been down. But here's the thing. In my entire journey of frustration for not knowing if God was real, for um, wondering if 
I was doing this on my own. These amazing ideas and visions and systems that I've created so rapidly, so fast, that are working so well. I wondered if it was me. Now I know it's God because there's no, there's it's really challenging to believe. Can I correct you? Yeah. You didn't wonder if it was you. No, I I, I did. You did. I did. So that's, that's part of the frustration. Like when I see, like so, my father. I thought you you thought, knew it was you. No, no, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. Okay, okay. okay. So. I saw, I'll give you, I won't say, well, my father and one mentor that I have, atheist, and they've done superbly well in life financially, okay? And so, you know, I do really well, and I created these incredible systems. And, you know, before I left, our, our CEO of the company, Bill, said, like, um, oh, when you come back, you will see that God has been moving all of us people in paths. You'll see where these systems come from. It'll all kind of make sense. And I was like, ah, see? I was frustrated because when I look at some of the examples that I have, it's like, well, maybe they don't I, maybe know God and they're multimillionaires. Yeah, they're doing it. And now I believe that, well, actually, you know, God's well, with them. God's got to be with them. Like, you, you know, uh, especially my mentor, when I'm, my dad's just an asshole. But like, um, my point is this I didn't spend the whole bunch of years going, oh my gosh, I've tried everything. I did recognize I was Still. going to church. I did recognize that we were, you know, reading the Bible. We're, 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 I was, but you were I still knew. craving more. You craving were still, more. even if it was baby steps, you were still moving forward. And finally, one last step solidified it for you. I think that's the point he's trying to make. And if it's not, I'm going to overhaul this conversation and make that point mm -hmm. for you. You might be doing little things. So you, you might feel frustrated and it's normal to feel frustrated. It's normal to feel like you've done everything because mm -hmm. a lot of the things that you're going to learn or are the very conventional things that people teach in marriage counseling and marriage therapy. And we're a little bit more unconventional. And there's other people that are unconventional too. So you might be doing things. You might be reading books. You're still going for, it. you believe there's more, you have this faith that he talked about a couple episodes ago. You know, there can be better. You know, you were meant for more that your relationship was meant for more. Your family can see it, stay together. You know, all these things, but the progress is so small. All. But what happens when you take that one extra step that maybe it's the same size of step as all the steps you've been taking, but all of a sudden God is real. All of a sudden your marriage is saved. All of a sudden your family gets to stay together and you, you rid the, your family of generational trauma. You don't know when that step is going to be. And the, the, the hard thing is that that is based on faith. His example is so good because he talked about how he went to church with me for nine and a half years before he found God. He did all of these things. He tried, he tried to pray. He tried to pray with the girls. He tried to pray with me. He tried tithing. He tried going to church. He tried going to serving in the church. He tried all these things. And finally he did the one thing, which was going on a trip. Going on a trip is not any bigger than tithing. It's not any bigger than praying with your family. These are all things that contributed to that big, the big thing, which was the him finding the Lord, right? This is and it's the same thing in marriage. Our program or any program might not be bigger than anything else that you've done, but if you can't change your mindset and say, hey, I want to take one more step. It doesn't matter if it's a baby step because it might feel like a baby step or a giant leap. You just have to have the mindset of, I haven't tried everything. I'm going to keep trying every little thing until I get my breakthrough. And, and guys, that's why this is called the work you are missing. Yeah. Because here's the thing. If you are... It doesn't, it doesn't matter, guys. If you don't like your body, if you're broke, if your marriage sucks, okay, if you can't get off your butt and start that business, you can't figure out how to sell that business, those those ideas that you're selling, whatever. There's something that you are missing. Something's obviously missing because if we can save our marriage, if millionaires are made every single day, if people are getting jacked, if some people have all of it like us, then there is a possibility. Why are we special? We're not. We're not. You have everything in you. You just are missing something. We, we get it. We were missing something once before too. Many things. And we're still missing you know? many things. That's why we have, Continue we're waiting grow. for breakthrough in so many areas of our life mm -hmm. because we're, that we are moving because we know that there's breakthrough in every area. That's so valuable. See, our goals push. They get further and further ahead. Sorry, I was putting my hand in front of your face. That's okay. Um, so we get, like the next level is there. Well, that means that we're not there yet, which means there's something missing, right? For right, for just give you an example, we have massive plans. We started doing letters to the shareholders on the YouTube. You can go check it out. We started on the YouTube. On the YouTube, yeah. You, you can tell I just use the social media as a tool. Um, so, um, when you when you understand that there's this big, broad vision, 
there's things missing. For example, people, having the right people in place, right? We always brought them in. And now we're creating the next set of goals, right? And so no matter what stage of your life, I just want you to, I, I want to encourage you, no one's special in life. You know, go look at Bezos or Elon Musk for a second. They figured out what was missing and they went for it. It's all the same. No matter who you're talking to, that is where you want to the be. The special thing is that they kept going. That's it. So that is special. That's right. In that respect, I want you to think of yourself as special if you're willing to take that next step. Yes. If you're going to quit like everybody else, then you're especially not special. Yeah. If you want to take a baby step and fail, you're special because so many people don't want to do that. If you want to risk being defeated, you're special because you know what? Success comes after and we know because we've been successful in marriage, we've been successful in finances, we've been successful in health and fitness, we've been successful with our children, we've been successful in a lot of areas. And I'm not saying that to be prideful. I'm saying that because we have failed. With, do you know our babies are IVF babies? Do you know that we lost our home? Do you know that we almost lost each other? Do you know that we've both been bankrupt? We don't come from a place of pride. We come from a place of, what do you call it? Like, um, the, I've, hang on. You're right, guys. I don't have the word. <laughs> You're having a tough time with words. I'm having a word. <laughs> it's, it's like you've you've overcome. We come from a place of victory. over victory. The thing is, guys, the word, Smith. Mo, 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 what is it in you. Spanish, honey? <laughs> French? <laughs> Italian? I don't know. I just thought maybe magically you'd be able to. <laughs> <laughs> she believes. In you have um, a lot of faith. <laughs> faith. <laughs> Listen, you just have to stop settling for ordinary. I yeah. saw that in the message recently. Oh, you just stop Stop settling. living an ordinary life. You have to step out to live a life that's extraordinary. Absolutely, you do. That's and it. we you can look at us as role models because we don't, again, we don't come from a place of judgment and pride. We come from a place of success. We come from a place of amazing progress. There's still a word. Continuing to, to progress, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. So tons and tons of encouragement, hopefully, for this. Yeah. Is that no matter what, you are struggling with right now, you're just missing something. If everybody in the world who's successful had to overcome, yeah. you know, I, I think we tend to often think of, especially like people with money, we tend to think they, they were, were just they were handed, handed the a money. silver spoon, yeah, but they weren't. A lot of them were not. A lot of they them worked were not. for it and they yeah. had so much failure to get to that success. So that's where the special comes in. 100%. If you're willing to take that step, you're willing to fail, you're willing to face those feelings of defeat and overcome them to be in a position of victory then you are special. i want to use one more example because yeah. we talked about um my friend janelle who makes this uh, is the pdfs five hundred thousand yeah. dollars a month for Did, four pdfs does super super well with her yeah her pdfs and and she started working out at, at freaking 800 pounds like honestly our marriage was the depths of hell honestly lost our house after both being bankrupt that's not a good position to be in okay with covid losing everything right what the fuck think makes you think that you're not special like we are only difference is we're doing it. You're not. So go be ex extraordinary. Just do it. Nike Become said it best. special. If that's all it takes for you to be special, just take the steps. Find out what you're missing and do it. And one of the other episodes you talked about, you know, not watching Netflix for 30 minutes every day. Yes. Go onto the app. Moral is the name of the app. Two R's facing each other. Okay. There is a program called Momentum. Just start adding and subtracting things in your life that will move you forward. It's fucking free. Why aren't you doing it? Like why get off your butt and go create the life that you want. Yeah. And then by the way, one last thing before we end it, it doesn't feel like work. No, we love everything that we do. We now. do even. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, so it, it doesn't matter what we're talking about. None of it feels like work when you just love your life. Okay. And when All you right. have 8,000 little. <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Bye. Bye.